All right, so you guys have asked for it. I know it's been a while, but we finally have it. The Alto Professional Series. You asked for the TS315. Well, we got you something a little better. We got the TS318S. It's got a claim 2,000 watts, 1,000 watts arm mass, 86 pounds um, or 39.2 kilograms for you international peeps. The dimensions on it are 26.8 by 21 by 24, so it's roughly like a 2 by 2 by 2, you know, 6 cubic foot box basically. So it's supposed to have giant ports, two of them on the front. Uh, we're kind of comparing this to the QSC 181, even though this is half the price of the 181. If it can do at least half the performance, we'd be happy. Um, but with it saying that it does 1,000 watts RMS, we're gonna really see if that's true. Um, it's got DSP, it's got a three inch voice coil, uh, high temperature, and we'll see. But yeah, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna take it apart, we're gonna see what it's all about. So we got a big piece of cardboard with some foam on each corner. Here's a little owner's manual. It's really thin plastic, so. so one thing you can already kind of notice it's got almost like a bed liner style finish on it. It's very rough. Um, it's supposed to resist, resist, resist scratching, um, which I guess I kind of get. The whole point of putting like this textured feel on it is that when you slide it against anything, these little nubs will actually wear down as opposed to the actual cabinet. But that's only gonna work for so long. It's got actual cut in handles, so they're not actual hardware they installed. They literally cut it out of the wood. Which honestly, that's kind of nice to have because that just shows they went a little, little farther than typical to incorporate that where most would just buy some cheap plastic handle and screw it on. The back's got a nice plate amp. One thing that me and Chaz kind of noticed right away is it doesn't have a heat sink and it's a little concerning, but I'm sure it has a heat sink on the inside and it's ported. So I don't think it really make too much of a difference. If anything, it might help when you're using this like in, on a sunny day heat sinks in the shade since it's in the box so maybe that helps uh, i don't really know but anyways moving forward we have dsp output mode so we can actually incorporate other alto speakers into this sub it seems like if, if i'm interpreting this correctly um, you can do the tc308 the 310 the 312 and the 315 which i'm assuming is alto's top speakers um, which is why you guys recommended the T315, but we got the T318S, which is the subwoofer. Um, sorry about that, but whatever. Uh, you also have a high pass and a bypass as well. Um, you have a pole polarity reverse right here, which is actual digital push button. It's a little different than most analog switches. And then you also have an extended low frequency uh, kind of EQ that you can apply right here um, that I'm just assuming kind of gives it like a bass boost. I don't know, I don't like using bass boost, but we'll, we'll see what it does. You got a nice volume knob here. The one we saw in the showroom was actually really loose. We didn't like it, but this one feels a little bit better. Still really loose, but uh, XLR inputs, XLR outputs. Of course, that's kind of like this industry standard nowadays. Um, standard three pin connector, which is always nice to have because then you can just buy longer lengths of this as you need it. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's tear this thing down and see what it's about. Give it a little sound demo just to see what kind of excursion we can get with it in the box then we'll go ahead and fully take it apart but we got four bolts up top and four on the bottom so we'll just take those out real quick oh we got a little light here i gotta attach there we go so here it is this is the big alto 318s and yeah it it does indeed have honestly massive ports in the front Ooh, sound very Sounds very bassy. Maybe it will sound half good. Nice, thick, treated surround. Uh, it's really, really stiff, this surround, actually. The cone itself feels really stiff, too. For a paper cone, honestly, it's probably one of the more rigid paper cones I've felt. Um, again, the ports, I mean, see, things like this. Come on. You couldn't have just, couldn't have just like, sanded that away? Like, that's going to make some noise. Um, but I mean, other than that, it looks really good, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. Everything looks very well done. It's 
give it a little sound test first, right before we kind of take the woofer out. And uh, let's see how this thing sounds real quick. So we got it all apart. We got some sample music already running through it, as you can probably hear just ever so slightly. Um, our first impressions before we, you guys can hear it, just so we're iterating where we're coming from, it's boomy. It's very boomy. Um, it's loud. It, it does fill the room very well, but it sounds very sloppy, if that makes sense. It just sounds like the cabinet may be a little tuned too low for the sub, or it's too big of a box, or, I mean, we'll find out, but I'm gonna guess there's no polyfill in there. It'd be good for, honestly, sound reinforcement in a gymnasium where you're not really gonna notice it, but when they come in a small room like this and can really hear it and listen to it, nah, it's not so great. We'll just get straight to it. Rest in peace, headphone users. It's loud. It sounds like a subwoofer, but when it comes to actual clarity, it just sounds like it's making the same bass note no matter what the kind of signal it's being fed. It's literally just meant to be loud. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I, I have mixed up feelings about this Alto sub. It looks really good and the build quality is definitely there, but as you can hear, it it doesn't sound like they put too much research into the enclosure that it's in because for how well everything seems to be, again, built and just the overall quality, it seems like it would perform really, really well. And it's, it's kind of disappointing because it's like, oh, wow, you know, 600 bucks, you should be able to get some, some decent quality and you get the loudness for sure. You definitely get the volume, but you don't get that clarity. Um, I could, we're gonna throw a sine wave through it and just see how it does with like a constant 30 Hertz tone. It's probably gonna fall on its face, we're gonna find out, um, but that's what we're gonna do now, so let's just get to it. started to fail holy crap that's stinky oh that's hot that's hot <laughs> well that's the first time I think we've we've ever come across a subwoofer's plate amp actually being a higher quality than a driver so caution to all of y'all you can literally blow this driver from its own plate amp because that's what we just smelled and oh man it's getting worse we might have actually damaged it um, but yeah so uh, don't do that don't don't do that. We didn't even have it in its extended low frequency mode either. Um, oh man, that stinks. That's really bad. Oof. So, anyways, point being, this Alto sub for how good of a it's almost too good of a quality for its own good. The amplifier, honestly, it I went up to like 90% gain on that, and it just started to clip. And the fact that we smelled the voice glow from the subwoofer that kind of tells you that the Alto amps are primo, but the sub they use. Not so much. We are definitely returning this thing. I mean, what, we got two minutes into playing it and we already smell voice coils, so no good. Um, we're gonna see what's behind it. Maybe we'll find out just exactly why this driver failed so quickly. Um, let's give it a give it a good old lift. Oh, <laughs> I can already tell it feels light. Oh yeah, no, that's nothing. Hey, at least we got my favorite freaking spades. Oh wow, they came off, okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's that's understandable. I mean, it's got venting though. It's still kind of warm. Um, so it has venting. It doesn't have any venting on the former um, standard tinselly. I mean, this is really not a surprising. No double spider like the K KSW 181s. Uh, pretty mediocre spider material at that. Um, kind of small magnet. This thing honestly weighs maybe 10, 12 pounds. It's not very heavy. 
Uh, we do have some basket venting here, but it clearly didn't help. <laughs> so looking into the box now, you can see that my guess was correct. It sounds boomy because there is no acoustophil or polyfill or whatever you want to call it in there at all. It's just a completely open box. They did brace it well. I'll give them that. The uh, amplifier network is a truly digital uh, amplifier. There is no class A or class AB going on here. If you could just tell because it's a fairly small circuit, um, which is also maybe, maybe why we toasted this thing is because maybe it just sent straight DC to it and it clipped really bad when it told us it wasn't. Not really sure. So uh, yeah, kind of underwhelming to be honest. They, they built their cabinets really well. They made their amplifier really well. They didn't fill it with acoustamass or polyfill or, you know, whatever. And they put a mediocre sub in it. So really that just kind of adds up to failure. Uh, it's, it's not, I'm let down, I'm displeased. This is not the best. I mean, we knew Alto was kind of the underdog, kind of like Harbinger and, you know, them. But we really weren't expecting this. We weren't expecting the amplifier to be powerful enough to literally destroy the driver. I mean, I guess that's kind of good. So if you do buy this and you upgrade the, the sub driver, you honestly, and put some polyfill in it, you might actually have a really good PA subwoofer. I mean, other than what we stated, it is, again, built very well. Um, but ultimately, I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down because it's just, it's not performing the way we expected it to. And the wattage out, the wattage rating, I would probably say it's a thousand watts. I mean, it, it took that sine wave really well um, before it even got close to peaking but the sub did not. So gotta say Alto's build quality is great. Their amplifiers are great, but their attention to detail and they're kind of matching up the components to amplifiers. They gotta work on that. So thanks again for tuning in. Again, sorry for the delay. Hope you guys tune in again next week. Hopefully we'll be back to our weekly uploads. Thanks again.